today on the web. Much enthusiasm online for Japan's new Prime Minister, Taro Aso. The Malaysian blogger Raja Petra has been arrested for insulting Islam, the web reacts. And the day's pick of the best. After the resignation of Yasuo Fukuda, Japan's Prime Minister and President of the Liberal Democratic Party, it is Taro Aso who has been designated by the party to be the next Prime Minister. This announcement seems to have pleased many Japanese people. Many videos in which we hear the crowds chanting his name have appeared online. Others prefer to dedicate songs to him, like we see in these clips. Web users are also celebrating the arrival to power of he who is seen by many as the man who will bring Japan out of crisis. But as this blogger states, the new Japanese Prime Minister will not have a simple job. He explains that the country must face up to their economic recession and huge public debt. Despite all this, interest in Taro Aso continues online. Some talk about him being the country's first Catholic Prime Minister and that he is a manga fan and shooting champion. The Malaysian blogger Raja Petra, a regular critic of the government, is being held under the International Security Act, which allows two years of detention without trial. Web users are protesting. The country's bloggers have expressed their unanimous support to the founder of the site, Malaysia Today, arrested for insulting Islam. This web user asks his compatriots to fight for his release and to sign this petition, which has already 20,000 signatures. In this video, Raja Petra's wife reacts to her husband's arrest, which she sees as a political move. She also says she hopes the current government will fall. Raja Petra had already been arrested several months ago, but not imprisoned. Accused of libel, he had insinuated that a minister was involved in the much-publicized murder of a Mongolian top model. The Net has then expressed their solidarity, as is illustrated by this Facebook group, which has 8,000 members. This mobilization is growing with, notably, these vigils which have been filmed and put online. <laughs> A study has taken place to observe the behavior of millions of people online. The conclusions show that today most requests are concerning social networks, whereas the pornography sector, which has previously been the most consulted sector, has fallen. The research shows that pornography requests have fallen from 20% 10 years ago to 10% today. YouTube has announced that all videos showing people with weapons will be banned from the site in the United Kingdom. This announcement coincides with the increase in number of knife or gun attacks in the country. It's the first time the site has applied a United Kingdom-specific rule.